Hello and welcome to another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to make a vegan macaroni and cheese. You can find this recipe at thefatveganchef.com and this is a recipe that I've been making and perfecting over the last 10 years or so. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a blender, a pot to boil your pasta in with a lid, you're going to need an 8 inch square glass or aluminum pan. You're going to need some measuring cups, measuring spoons, a wooden spoon, and a rubber scraper. You're going to also need a colander to drain your pasta in, and aluminum foil. And the water in the pot needs to be salted. Uh, try to make it as salty as the seed. The ingredients that you're going to need to make this dish are enough pasta to fit the pan. You can use any shape or size pasta that you want to. You can use whole wheat, white, gluten free. I actually like to use tricolor rotini. I think it makes the dish look a lot prettier than using just regular elbow macaroni. And I'm using elbow macaroni in this case. You're going to need two and a half cups of vegan milk. This happens to be coconut, but you can use any kind that you want to. And make, just make sure it's the original, unsweetened, unflavored version of it. You will need one third cup of soy sauce. You'll need one and a half cups of nutritional yeast flakes. One cup of vegan margarine or butter. Um, this just happens to be earth balanced, but any brand will do. Just don't use oil in this case. You want to use uh, one teaspoon of either black pepper or grains of paradise. This happens to be grains of paradise. Uh, I like to use it. Uh, the grains of paradise is native to the West African region. It is in the ginger family. It's cultivated from the seeds of the plant as a strong pepper flavor with a hint of citrus. A Grains of Paradise was popular in Europe in the 14th and 15th centuries. Uh, around the 18th century it started to become less popular and some countries even banned it from certain ingredients like beer. Uh, it is uh, easy to find online. I have a link at thefatveganchef.com uh, and you can buy it from that link. I think it's four ounces for less than six dollars. It comes in whole peppercorns and you just use a spice grinder and grind it up like you would fresh black pepper. I like using it instead of or along with uh, black pepper and I think it adds another uh, flavor, another complexity to my dishes and I really like using it. I use it uh, almost all the time. You also want to use one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of ground mustard. You also want to use a pinch of curry powder, a pinch of chili powder, and a pinch of either red pepper flakes or cayenne pepper powder if you have it. You will, and also if you want to Optionally, you can add a vegan ground beef to the dish. I'm going to actually be using it in this dish uh, today. But again, this is optional part. Uh, you can make it without. Now that you have your ingredients put together, what you want to do is start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. While that's preheating, bring your pot of salty water up to a boil. And once it comes up to a boil, what you want to do is add your pasta and what you want to do is cook your pasta to the directions on the package minus one minute. That way, because it's going to cook in the oven so you want, it's going to finish cooking um, when it's baking in the oven. Now once this uh, comes up to a boil then you're going to uh, start your timer. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan there. Add your lid back on so it will come up to the boil. 
and I'll, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make our cheese sauce. Now that the pasta is cooking, let's go ahead and put together the cheese sauce. First, add your butter to the blender. birds in my house. Once the butter is added, add your uh, vegan milk. And then add your spices. And then go ahead and blend that up a little bit. Put it on high on the fastest speed. And then go ahead and mix the bowl, rub the bowl down a little bit. You want to do this until the butter and the milk become incorporated. Which will take just a little bit of time. Uh, getting there, go ahead and add your nutritional yeast flakes. And add your soy sauce as well. Let's put that in there. If you want to, you can add the soy sauce in the beginning, it doesn't matter. So you want to add the yeast flakes towards the end. Once your sauce comes together, go ahead and uh, set that aside if your pasta is not done yet. If your pasta is done, then we're going to go ahead and go on, go on to the next step. I think mine is just about there. After your pasta is cooked and well drained, what you want to do is add that to your dish. Now if you are going to use uh, a meat substitute, put the meat substitute in the dish first, that way you have enough room for it. And try not to get any anywhere. And kind of mix the beef, or the fake beef, in with the pasta so it's evenly distributed in your dish. And I'm making a mess. Alright. I'm going to put the rest of this pasta in here. Okay. And a little bit too much there. I want to save room for the sauce. Alright. And if you have left over, just put some sauce on it and you've got another meal. Now that the uh, pasta is in the dish, what you want to do is take your cheese sauce and start to pour your cheese sauce in with the pasta. Give it enough time to kind of soak in and get in the little crevices. Let's kind of help it in there a little bit.
Okay. I think we have room for the last little bit. Yep. Okay, what you want to do now is go ahead and put a piece of aluminum foil on it and make it shiny side down. And what you want to do is bake this in your 350 degree oven for 15 minutes with the foil on. And then take the foil off and bake it for another 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and put it in the oven now. Alright, now we have our macaroni and cheese out of the oven. And you can serve this fresh out of the oven if you want to. Or uh, to make it better, what I would suggest doing is letting it uh, cool in the refrigerator for a few hours so it sets up. And then once it's cool and set up, then you can reheat it in the stove or the microwave and it will be more like a macaroni and cheese and be kind of like a thick um, casserole instead of really runny. And I'm going to go ahead and cut into it. As you can see, it's set up. And you can cut it in as many pieces as you want to, depending upon how hungry your family is or how hungry you are. I'm going to make these fairly small, and I'm cutting it four by four. Uh, but 3x3 three three also works pretty good. These are going to be small portions. Okay, so now we have these cut up actually. And let's go ahead and serve this. Let's see how it turned out. There we go, and as you can see, it's set up pretty good, and this is my vegan macaroni and cheese. I hope you like it. Try it at home. Tell me what you think. Please uh, subscribe to this channel, like if you like this recipe, and share it with your friends and family. And again, the recipe can be found at thefatveganchef.com. I hope to hear your comments. Thank you. Have a good day.